Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm your boy Nev from Nev's Tech, but today we're checking out a Lenovo S740. Much power, and it feels very durable. It feels like it's an aluminum uh, kind of case. It feels like it's an aluminum inside, too. Little bit of flex on the keyboard, much less than I'm used to having. Up here, we have the ability to turn off the camera. Whoops because we live in an age where we need to worry about that kind of thing, apparently. I wonder if, when we do this, if it actually disables the camera and the microphone, because more than the camera, I would be more concerned about the microphone. So, let's take a look at the sides of this unit. We'll see what it's got. We have one standard USB. We have two USB-Cs and one micro SD. I'm interested that they put that there. Why don't you put a regular SD card there, I wonder. Anyway, so then we have a single headset. That's where the power goes. We have a light for the power, uh, a light say it's on, and then that's where you hit your reset button. So if you ever have a problem where you can't turn that thing on, you probably hit that button. Or if you want to get into the bias, you, you hit that button on the side, and it will get into it for you. So, next thing. I bet there's a pipe that goes across here. I've dealt with some uh, CAD systems. I believe they were S-Class. can't remember off the top of my head, but the heat pipe went up here. Man, I swear you could cook bacon off that. Now I'm going to be doing a benchmark. Hold on to your hats, kids. Now before I get into that, I should say that this, it, it pulls off colors really well. And it definitely has a nice anti-glare with it. Getting a closer look, we got a 12 core i7 CPU at 2.6 gigahertz, 16 gigabytes RAM, an NVIDIA GeForce GT1650 with Max Q design. And back in that, we have an Intel UHD Graphics 630. Now, we got to be very careful with this and make sure that it uses the right video card for the job when it comes to the benchmark because I've had it before where only the slow video card actually was activated within the Passmark performance test. I'm going to run this thing. I'm going to see what it gets in the benchmark. I'm going to compare it to other ones that I got. For the benchmark today, we're going to be using Passmark Performance Test 10.0. And I will come right back to you when we start getting to the 3D effects. Holy cow, look at those planes go. We are getting like 95 frames per second, but we're not using the whole screen. And yeah, it's using uh, the GeoForce GTX. Not bad, my guys. I found a list on the website Lenovo.com. IdeaPad S740 15 inches laptop. Here are the first four. Premium 9th gen Intel Core processing provides high speed and responsiveness. NVIDIA GeForce GTX graphics boasts award winning architecture, perfect for content creating and gaming. Convenient UHD touchscreen with Dolby Vision HDR. And up to 10 hours of battery life with rapid charging technology. To see the whole list, follow the link I just sent to your phone. 100 frames per second. Not frickin' bad. But then again, it's not even full screen, so... At least it's using the right video card, so I can't complain about that. Alright, DirectX 11, full screen, 1080, 152 frames per second. Looking freaking wonderful. I wonder if I can get a glare to show up on the black now. Okay, maybe the glare isn't the best. It is pretty dark in here right now. If I turn the light on... Okay, so the glare is definitely a thing on this if you got a black background. Otherwise, I don't think you need to worry about it too much. Next up, DirectX 12 test. Oh my goodness, Bobby. Oh yeah, you can see me so easy there, can't you? If we got the back black around. Oh, wait, I can save 80%? Sweet Jeebus. Zoom, zoom. I don't think that helps too much. There we go, that's perfect. Yeah, so the more light, the more reflections. I definitely wouldn't recommend using this uh, inside, or outside, sorry, during a sunny day. Okay, so that's the score that we get. 
and it is lower than the Lenovo Xeon P510 workstation, uh, lower than, actually just above the Lenovo ThinkBook 15, and just above the Lenovo E32. That's interesting. That is interesting. Not so bad. Not so bad. Um, okay, that's getting hot already. Right up here, that's definitely getting hot. So those pipes definitely have to be right there. Anyways, the next step is to open her up and uh, see how she does. But first, before I do that, the test. Will this thing play Fortnite? Will it play Grand Theft Auto V? Yes, it absolutely will. Just trust me. I don't even need to install it on here. If I install it, it's going to run beautifully. Just trust me, ladies and gentlemen. I got some people that ask me why I benchmark all this stuff with uh, games. And uh, the answer is always the same because there's always a bunch of people out there. There's only one thing they want to know, and that is if it plays their games, usually Fortnite or Grand Theft Auto 5. Yes, it will play it. This thing's like a workstation. It's unbelievably powerful. It'll play it. So, let's see what's on the inside. Okay, I lied. I'm not getting into this thing because I don't have a Torx this small. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Man, they really don't want you inside of this thing. Okay, so I lied. In reality, I actually have all the Torx. Um, let's have a look here. Okay, so I like that we have a dual fan. I like that we have a dual pipe. That's good. That's good. Um, and we'll have the hard drive here. Internal battery, of course. Let's see, where is the motherboard battery? I'm not seeing a motherboard battery. This has got to be where the RAM is, so this must be non-upgradable. Or at least you have to pop that off. And I'm not really sure I want to go that far right now honestly this belongs to a customer and uh, not mine we got the wi-fi chip here model 9560 ngw ngw i'm pretty sure that's uh that'll be i think it'll take ax speeds I'm not sure off the top of my head so yeah hard drive fans i don't like that the blades are so small that tells me it's going to get a lot of crud stuck in it real quick. Now, some people seem to have this sticky dust. Like, let's say you're the type of person that likes to cook with a lot of oil. And if you don't have a vent going on the outside, then the dust gets oil in it and, the, and these things just pick it right up. But seriously, there's so little space between the fans. I guess you're trying to keep this thing super thin and super fast at the same time. Ooh, that's still pretty warm. That is still pretty warm. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, we got the CPU and the, the GPU, or maybe the other way around. That's nice. Look at all the uh, look at all the metal they got around this. They're not playing around here. They really put some engineering into it. Is this the North Bridge chip? Nothing over top of it at all. It says X952D783. Okay. One thing I'm definitely a bit surprised about is I don't see a motherboard battery anywhere. All right. If you guys think it's here, let me know, because this has got to be the RAM. I bet we got two sticks of RAM in here. But again, I don't want to go quite that far, because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get that thing back on again you may have to check out somebody else's channel if you want that kind of information but still i'm really happy with this computer got some real cheap ones we definitely spent a lot of money on this one what's this i almost wonder if these are to tell the system if the unit is open or not nah it couldn't be for that i don't see any buttons there but then again technology keeps advancing in crazy ways let me get closer let me get this closer for you guys, for you guys. Not bad, not bad. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Like and subscribe if you like this, if I've helped you out. It's always appreciated. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, take care of each other. Have a good one, folks.